Greetings everyone, BJ Weiler back with you for another 100 Days of Game in 2020 10 Top 10 Lists. Continuing on with our Top 10 Strategy Games here for our ninth list of the year. Rounding out the bottom half of that list. Number 6, yeah, Sins of a Solar Empire. And of course, this is all to raise money right here for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. 100%. Every single penny that we raise goes to helping sick kids get better. Goes to help make their lives better. And it ultimately goes to save their lives. Even one dollar. And again, that's not working. I don't know what it is with this thing. Um, goes uh, to helping sick kids get better. Uh, goes to helping save their lives. Something to that effect. I don't know what it is. I don't know. All of a sudden it stops working when I go into studio mode and and go back and forth here. So I don't, it, it's weird. And then it'll, it'll, it'll eventually pop up. Where is my... Um... Oh, that's right. I have to edit it. I have to edit it. All right, we'll just leave it just like that for now. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, even one dollar can make all the difference in the life of a child at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. You can donate safely, securely, and anonymously. You just click one of those big old banners down below the live stream window. And, uh, or, of course, after we highlight this on Twitch and upload it on YouTube... Check the video description for our Life participant link. Donate safely, securely, and anonymously, and 100%. Every single penny of that donation, whether it's just 50 cents, $1, $100, whatever it is that you can do is greatly appreciated. And it will all go to the hospital. Hopes that kids get better. $327, as you can see now, raised for the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Our, um... See, that bothers me every time that bothers me. I don't know why it's doing it now. It was fine for the other eight and a half lists. And then all of a sudden when we start this list, the last couple of games here, it's it's been acting funny. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know why it's screwing up like that. But anyway, 59 fundraising days left in the year to go. Playing on look, the Looking for Games team. The second year we've been playing on the Looking for Games team. $1,948 raised, and of course, every uh, every donation that we receive for our individual goal will also count towards the team goal, which is $4,000. So we're almost halfway there. Help us hit the halfway point. That's only $52. We're only $52 away from the halfway point as a team. I'm only $13 away from my individual goal of $340. So please, uh, again, you know, it's it all goes for the kids. It's tax deductible if you're in the United States and I think Canada as well. And you can donate from wherever you are in the world. Uh, you know, every donation makes a difference. Every donation helps a sick kid and it is greatly, greatly appreciated no matter how big or small that donation may be. There is no donation too small, really. At the end of the day, it all helps sick kids. That's what matters. So thank you, everyone. Let's get on with number six here of our top ten strategy games since the Solar Empire. One of the, um, probably the first game, I think, on this list that we've done so far that I've act that I actually played a little bit um, previously and not just per se for 100 days of gaming. Um, you know, for like Dragon Shard Starcraft were, were games that we've actually never played previously, but, um, you know, always meant to, and uh, obviously they're on there because they are decent games, and that's why we've got them. But uh, uh, the other ones, um, we played for 100 days of gaming here. Let me check my notes here, see what we've done so far. Oh my god. Why am I so tired? I almost snapped. Yeah, see, like Age of Wonders and Off-World Trading Company, we actually did for 100 Days of Gaming, as we did uh, since the Solar Empire, I believe we did for a, a previous 100 Days of Gaming. But, um, yeah, since the Solar Empire is actually the first 
first game that I've played I played beforehand, not just for uh, not just for Extra Life or or a stream. I actually played this uh, when it was first released very briefly, not not a whole lot of time. Um, played on it because again, you know, it was, I think it was released, released during the time when I was still playing Guild Wars, so Guild Wars took up a lot of time. But I did get this on release, played it for a little bit, and uh, you know, again, it's as I've mentioned many times, not only during this list, but uh, throughout our 100 Days of Gaming this year, that uh, you know, a lot of these games I really, really do want to play a lot more, but there's just, there's just no time. There's this core handful of games that uh, have occupied me, mostly MMOs. I'm actually, you know, I'm streaming no MMOs right now except for Guild Wars um, because I, I finally got myself into uh, getting into some of the single-player games I've wanted to play for a while and uh, going through those. And, of course, you know, because, you know, time constraints, I can't do any of my MMOs that I still want to play, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, here we go. Number six on the list since the Solar Empire. So let's uh, let's go again because it's been forever. Let's go ahead and do the basic gameplay and get rocking and rolling. And one of the uh, things, uh, one of the reasons I bought this game initially at the outset was because um, there was no DRM associated. They said, no, we're not putting any DRM in. Please buy the game, play it, and it, it's done very well for itself doing that. So, uh, it's too good. It's too good. I take it like the core gameplay concepts. Okay. Seems that's all we're going to be doing for this list is the tutorials. Except, of course, when we get to Civilization 2. Because um, <laughs> there is no tutorial. The actual gameplay was a tutorial. I actually had to read the manual to figure out how to play. The back, in, back in the good old days. See if I move the cursor over them in the main view. Try this now. New player frigate factory. Hmm. Uh, love construction frigates. Ton Revora. Okay. The key location here is the Empire window on the left. Is a collapsible tree. So it's just so what the structures you have uh, at planets orbited by something you have selected. Yes, and this is the 4X strategy. Explore. Um, I forgot what the X's stand for. I know it's Explore. And that's the only one I really remember. <laughs> explore, like Excavate, i.e. Mine, Gather. I don't remember it now. Anyway, okay, okay gotcha. Level Asteroid. To love Construction, forget Love Construction, forget there. There we go, let's uh, rotate our camera view here, here we go. It's our factory. Those are all the, all the ships there, okay. Gotcha. Uh, Showing the groups beneath the planet, okay. This is Semfira. This is a capital ship. They are very large warships that anchor your fleets as they gain experience. They become increasingly powerful. Objects within the environment can be selected by left clicking uh, on them in the main view. New can also be sele uh, selected by clicking their icons in the empire. Go ahead and select the capital ship. This is the Where do you ship. need me? Okay. Good. Notice that uh, selecting you show the respective empires icon above themselves in the main view, and have a light gray backdrop in the empire window. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay. Also observe the action grid at the bottom right. Today's action grid options the capital ship is capable of. We'll look into this further in just a moment. Okay. Reporting for duty. Despite their power, their expense makes capital ships relatively rare. Smaller vessels called frigates make up the core of your empire's fleets. Here are a few basic frigates to accompany your capital ship. Okay. Multiple objects can be selected once by drag selecting over them with the left mouse button. Try this now until 
Uh, try this now with all your ships included in the selection. Okay. There you go. Reporting in. Okay. I right, see so camera. Hey, you can do so by holding down control and then left clicking on the object and try focusing on the capital ship control. Left click. Okay. <laughs> Control of click. Here we go. Better view of the environment. Simply scroll the mouse wheel down to zoom out as objects come to you. They'll be displayed as color coded icons. It's a blue star. Here's a close up view of our capital ship. Plants of, uh, which is reached in space around them where gravity is too strong for starships to phase jump to other planets. You may have noticed a faint ring denoting its edge. Yes, there's the ring here. You see, we are in the gravity well of the planet. Look at all the activity you have there. May have noticed a faint uh, gray, the, the faint gray phase line branching out from your plant's gravity well. Such lanes mark the allowable paths to travel to the nearby bodies, which of course is that there to whatever that is. The plant has not been explored. Okay. Move capable units have been given move orders by left clicking uh, the move button in the action grid and left clicking their destination to order your fleet to move to the point where the phase line intersects this gravity well. Okay. There. A sound plan. There's the units display the order they are currently executing with a pulse order on the order's icon. Okay, yep. Then order description on their info card. Okay. Units can be issued to be issued context specific default order. The right mouse button in most it will show units a movement or follow order and use on enemy units and structures to lure your units to attack explore one of the capital ships other features while it is in transit capital ships also act as mobile hangars for squadrons with small strike aircraft <laughs> okay Squadron limits differ by capital ship and increases the capital ship gains experience to manage capital squadron. Click the squadron management button in its action grid. Boom. Good. There are two types of strike craft bombers which carry heavy weapons to damage larger well armored targets and fires which are very fast and well suited for attacking bombers and lightly armored targets. Okay. Go ahead and build a squadron. Let's build a fighter squadron. You to strike craft at no cost till all their assigned squadrons are full. However, strike craft will build more slowly when the capital ship is in combat. Notice that unlike your home plant, other plants in the system currently do not show their plant type one in icon form and show no information on, on their info card. Details in addition to other plants uh, will remain hidden until you have scouted them. Take a small fleet and investigate the nearby plant by clicking the move button Left clicking on the plant's icon in the main view alternative, simply right click on it. Okay. Ahead slow. We're going to phase jump. They're phase jumping. Phase jump complete. 
Okay. Hostile force acquire and fire upon targets in range. If you like the mail cheeser, click on the attack button in the action grid and click on the target to defeat all the enemy ships. Brace for combat. Got him. Hold steady. We're going in. Hey, KM22 Raven. Love the game. Excellent. Exterminate, yeah, I think exterminate might be one of the one, one of the X's as well. Yeah, I've always, yeah, again, one of the games where I played very briefly upon release and never really had enough time to do much more than than, than the opening tutorials we are once again doing. It's just so much time. So much time has to be spent learning a lot of learning the. The management phases of these things, like Cat and Leo, Cat said the other day, there is there is a you know there's a lot a lot involved with these things, with these uh, all these strategy games. Oh, well, for anybody defeating the ships, gotcha. Now, as an ability point can spend to unlock new weapon and defense systems. Okay, okay, I'll click the ability management button on the action grid. Abilities fall into two major categories triggered abilities and passive abilities. Triggered abilities typically require antimatter to be used, have a cooldown period before they can be used again. Passive abilities require no antimatter and typically grant a constant benefit to the ship and or nearby allies. Go ahead and choose a new ability to activate. Targets, uh, unknown plants must be colonized, uh, colonized, and bolt targets, enemy captain ships, frigates, and structures. Disables the target unit, preventing it from moving or attacking. Oh, we can actually purchase level two, huh? Targeting up, up link. Your ships allowing them to target more accurately, increase the effective range of their weapons. Okay. So when trigger abilities are first unlocked, they will highlight in the all to use state the circular arrow animation. In this state, the capital ship will automatically decide when to use the ability. This can be toggled by right clicking the ability. In order to take advantage of the resources within the asteroid field, its largest asteroid must be first colonized for by using the colonize ability on your capital ship or a similar one on colony frigates and colonize the asteroid we're underway it's colonization ease well, we got one ship on fire here How can I be of service? Sorry, attack squadron. A new colony has been founded. Excellent. Okay. 
the population tax that come that they provide your Empire Pearson info card. Uh, construction frigate is also created. The ship is responsible for building structures within its planetary gravity well. Should be destroyed. Placement one will automatically start building at no cost from the planet. Producing structures will be examined in more detail in another tutorial. Where's my cap? Reporting ship? in. Can't build right now. This is an enemy empire deploy to scout your new outpost. Destroy it at once. Oops. Keep forgetting. for combat. He's done. Take your frigates to the ship and investigate the nearby planet. How can I be of service? Where do you need me? A yeah. sound plan. Say, why aren't my frigates heading out that way? All hands, prepare for phase jump. Are they coming with me or what? Give the order. I'll do my best. All right, there Our they go. Is under attack. Destroy them immediately, okay. Face jump underway. Where do you need me? Hold steady, we're going in. Yes. No, you know what? No, she did not. He's done. He should be. He should be going down fairly quickly here. Good, never broke through our shields there, sweet. We're 
We're underway. Yep, that Ahead way. slow. Reporting in. Hold steady. We're going in. The Goss defense platform, eh? Make it now. Give the order. You're the boss. Get out of there. Gone. We lost it. We lost our frigate. Bombing their infrastructure, okay. Reporting in. Secure the passengers. Done. What now? Got a job for me? Oh, there goes a bomb. There goes our bombs. Health thirteen hundred, population five. Get the mellow extractor down. It's done. Population one. <laughs> what are we doing over 
here. Kill population. Sauce by its current owner, okay. Up oh, some more frigates. Alright, cool beans. Well, this will be done in no time now. Excellent. Volcanic exploration research to colonize. Okay. Sweet. Basic logistics. All right. Let's see here. Economy production to you. Learn about resources and sins of solar empire. How to acquire them and how to spend them on units and structures. a solar eclipse. opposite of what it's not there we go that's about as good as we're getting I guess huh all right anyway enough fooling around let's see what we got here uh, credits, metal, and crystal credits are the most basic universal. They are part of the cost of all unit structures and research. Additionally, credits use certain transactions between empires, whether it, uh, whether it be through buying and selling your resources on the black market in the form of bounty against other empires. Okay. May recall from the previous your empire earns credits from the tax income from the population of planets under your control. Ah yes, the taxes. Invest investing in plant development, you can increase your tax income by raising the maximum uh, sustainable population uh, of your planets. Do this, click the develop planet button. Raise how investing is Civilian infrastructure now. The other types of planet upgrades will be addressed later on in the tutorial. So we got civilian, mall agency, explore, designate capital, tactical capacity, logistics capacity. All right, civilian infrastructure, three turns, I guess, huh? 
uh, also affects undevelopment tax rate, which uh, is a reduction to taxes that affects newly colonized planets. Okay. So a certain number of these upgrades are performed. These plants will be a drain on your empire's credit income. Oh, fabulous. Metal is one of two secondary resources and is primarily used in the construction of ships and structures. Quark for asteroids rich in metal or via the metal extractors <coughs> structure. Crystals. More advanced units and structures require greater amounts of crystal, which can be acquired from similar asteroids via crystal extractor. Okay. Okay. The amount uh, of each resource your empire has is shown at the top right corner of the HUD. You can move over any of these to see a breakdown of the income of each resource. Oh, pardon me. Gases. Yeah, we have no income or upkeep right now. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. I don't know why I'm suddenly so tired. Finished. All orbital structures are built by a construction frigate. Go ahead and select it. Here we go. Orbital structures can be classified to two logistics, which generally help you earn resources. And produce ships and tactical, which aid in planetary defense and other more specialized tasks. Let's build a defensive structure to help fortify this planet with a construction frigate selected to build tactical structure. Ah, a Gauss defense platform. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. I guess we can build it here. It's over an area that structure can be built and red where it cannot. Okay. How about we put it out here, I guess? Two gold rings within the gravity well. Just mark the balance of the area. Strips to be built. Finish placing the gold by left clicking in the valid spot. Okay. Let's put it here. There we go. Near our asteroids. Almost all structures consume either logistics or tactical support capacity depending on their type. They both are fairly limited. The types of structures you choose to build at which plants have significant effects on your empire. Okay. It's possible to increase these via the develop planet menu. Click it now. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. We increase the capacity. Plant types will offer, uh, will differ from the maximum tech they can provide both initially and when fully upgraded. Okay. Now that property defense is time to build an extractor to provide some metal income. The build logistics structure button. Boom. Good. Extractors. Slightly different from. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so here's a can only be placed on top of a resource asteroid of the appropriate type. So structure complete. Why, thank you. Uh, so they will automatically be placed for you. Cook the well. You're fine. Oh, boom. Uh, finish the, it will automatically move and begin building the next, uh, cute structure. Okay. Well, where, uh, where's my asteroids? Okay, it's there, so it's gonna end up... Where's it going? Oh, okay, it's already finished building that. Now it's gonna go build extractor over here. Okay, excellent. All right. There's our defense, defense cannon. Well, I got another one. Let's put another one over 
here. Where they sort of sort of overlap each other here. There we go. Structure complete. Excellent. Additional research required. Sorry. Keep forgetting I need to hit the arrow keys. So metal extractor. So where is my Oh there he is. Yep, build one over there. Excellent. So we'll get that one building. Okay, let's get our little frigate here. Ah uh, frigate fairing you build both frigates and the more advanced cruisers. Click to build frigates button now. Sure, of course, just simply queue the types and quantities of the ships you like. They'll go into the planet's uh, ship production queue. Uh, from there, be signed to be built available for act reason where they complete. are. Requested build the Kova Scout Forget now. It's building, okay. Uh, at the top of the HUD, okay. Fleet capacity is 98, okay. So right now we've only got if two. If it's out there, I'll find it. Uh, at the top of the HUD, hovering over this will display the breakdown of how your total fleet supply is used, okay. Ah, uh, just require our train to be fielded. The available crew count also appears at the top of the HUD. Okay. Okay, we got one capital ship crew available. Okay. Cargo, cargo. Uh, you ever find yourself at maximum capacity of ships or other structures and need to relocate the used capacity differently? It's possible to free up by scuttling. Okay. Select it and press the skull button at the bottom of the hut after a brief time you will be scrapped. Pressing the button again will abort the scuttle. Okay. Uh, certain frigate types are currently unavailable because they require certain research to be conducted. Boist. Okay. Ah. Protive colony frigate, huh? Not uninhabited planets. Okay, fighter frigates, siege frigates, carrier crews, yeah, workers, combat frigate that can be upgraded efficiently. Other ships' abilities. Uh, light frigate, powerful engines and remotes is adept at reconnaissance. Well, let's get a battleship going here. Which, uh, you know, some, some research labs must be built first. There are two types of military and civic. <laughs> military labs grant access to your military research tree. Ugh. <laughs> well, civic research stations grant access to your civilian research. Anyway, so we got some extractor income here. Ha. Oh, I keep forgetting. Dang it. Select the construction free and build two military labs from the logistic structures menu. Okay. Construction frigate. It's a scout frigate. Oh, oh here we go. And what do I need? Build two, two military labs from the logistics structure. Okay. So we'll put a military lab there. I'll put another one over here. 
that guy's gonna go build that now, okay. Research stations here you to do so open the research window via the button at the top center of the HUD. Ah. Research. Uh sir so fortune military, civilian, fleet, and the artifacts. Okay. Military civilian trees are unique to each race and generally contain subjects to improve the fine capacity of your fleets or the economic strength of your empire, respectively. So military is fighting. Civilian is economic. Fleet is common to all races. Contain subjects to increase maximum available fleet supply and capital ship crews. So it increases ship capacity, essentially. Oh, coming in requires discovery of specific artifacts on plants possessing them for their benefits can be gained. Okay. Raise tears. It's just a measure of how advanced technology grants you by additional research structures must Structure be built in order complete. to perform research at in higher tiers. Okay. Simply queue subjects by clicking on the icons accessible subjects within the tree. Key research in the Corrosive prototype in the military tree. Here we go, Crossolf prototype. Since research is queued, you can likewise queue ships dependent on that research subject. These ships can get through as soon as they're research free. Whack is it? It's finished. Explore plan upgrade conducts a dense assert which may reveal powerful hidden artifacts to other intrinsic and natural thingies. Type of construction can conveniently be accessed via the planet rather than specific structure. So it concludes the economy and production tutorial. Okay, I'm not sure how much I learned. This is this is this and this is one of the reasons why I never Ah, oh, because there's so, it's just so, there's just so many layers to this game. The trying to remember, it's one of those things where you, you have to play it constantly to get everything memorized, what you're doing and how to do it. Can't do it casually, really. All right, let's go to the advanced interface. Okay, welcome to the advanced interface. You will learn about advanced features of the Empire window and other aspects of the user interface. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, about units and main views available by holding down Alt. Relative health, current orders, ownership, plant names are more displayed. Empire window shows all ships and structures around a plant where you have something selected. Dished objects uh, aid, aid, added by your selection and power window will also include pinned objects. Okay. By default, all of your ships are automatically pinned when they are built. Uh, likewise, with plants you have colonized, you can disable aspects of the, other. the options menu under the user interface tab. Toggle the pin state of a ship or plant, select it, and press the pin selection button at the top right of the Empire tree. When we get a quick at glance information on the relative side of forces at a stellar body is with the pip groups. They appear beside the planet icon in the empire window. Here we go. Here's our pip groups. That's this group right here, isn't it? Yeah. That's these guys. Pip groups also be used to select uh, an issue or all units to that group or is the target of an action like attack or mew. Multiple planets are listed. You may wish to collapse them into a more compact view that only shows their pip groups like clicking on the smile side plants I can try this now by collapsing expanding this plant's details. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's expanded there, me. Uh, at this zoom when plants display pip rings around themselves. Easy to judge relatively relative size and placement of forces at plants with detection within the star system. Okay. 
The most common needs uh, is to be able to select all the same type of ship within the gravity well. To do this, hold down Alt and click on this, the type of ship you want. Alt. Oh, Alt. Oops. Oh, what did I do? Focus on the planet instead of my frigates here. Miss clicking buttons now. Okay. Alt. There we go. Thank you. Uh, one is the sub selecting it. It's Empire Windows. It was lighter shade of gray. This is unit's action. Will that populate the action grid? Cycle through your sub select any before back with you by using the tab and shift tab. Tab, 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 tab. Shift, tab, 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 tab. Okay. Form control group one. Okay. Control one. All right. To recall a control group that you form, simply press its corresponding number key. Okay. So we'll cover is attack ranges. By default, most ships will automatically engage hostile targets within the gravity well. However, there are times where it may be better off to restrict them to a closer engagement range. This and other advanced behaviors are controllable through the tactics management. Open it now. Oh boy, here we go. Tactics management. My weak point here. Left click the range button to cycle between available engagement ranges for your selected units. This will affect how far they will move to attack and use abilities. Try this now. Set engagement range. Okay. Um, okay. Good. You have uh, noticed a number of other orders appear in this menu to retreat will cause like ships to leave the current gravity well take the shortest safest route to a friendly planet okay it's possible we're not selected ships into these called fleets with the create fleet action okay sub selected uh, ship is uh, as uh, sub selected ship is designated as the leader Ships in the fleet will stay near the fleet leader and support it and each other as the fleet leader carries out actions like attacking and moving. Okay. Also, right click this action to toggle whether or not selected ship will automatically join the fleet when they arrive. Oh my god! Uh, and have them execute it sequentially. All types of words, attack, movement, and ability can be keyed by holding on shift when issuing them. Jesus Christ. Uh, try some cued movement orders for your frigates now. Issue one movement order followed by a second one while holding down shift. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. Uh, move. Good one. You're the boss. Okay, good. All right. Good. When phase jumping with large groups, it's often to have them all jump to the destination at the same time. Talk between immediate and group jumping. Select your group and then right-click, move action. Try this now. Okay, they're, they're still selected, I think. What now? Yeah. Okay, move. Immediate group. Uh, select your group and right-click the move action. Try this now. Right-click. There you go. Move, all right. Good ships with group move enabled will wait for others to reach the edge of the gravity well before starting to charge for the jump. Because this delay can be quite long, it's best to have group jumping off when retreating. <laughs> okay. Your empire grows, your early factories will often be far from your frontline forces. An easy way to streamline reinforcements. Is to rally a planet's out. Uh, is to rally a planet's output to wherever it is needed. Okay. Rally point. Uh, to say rally point. I click the set rally point button on the planet's action grid and target a location or unit. Go ahead and try this now. Oops.
All ships are finished from, uh, from any, all ships are finished from uh, any of that plant's factory. They will automatically go to where the rally point has been set. Once their units, with all joint fleet enabled, will try to join the most appropriate fleet in the gravity well. Okay. What do we got here? Diplomacy report. Okay, another helpful aid for keeping top vampires the events window, which is located in the bottom left corner of the HUD. So we've got planet reports. Production it's out reports. there. I'll find it. Diplomacy reports and threat reports. Okay. Ever uh, such a structure ships finish being built or a finally planet coming near attack the report will appear in one of the four reported lists. Okay. You can respond to it by cleaning all the reports portrait in the pressing the spacebar. Try now to respond to the ship finished. What do you need to know? So selects a relative object or takes some other appropriate actions such as opening the research window for research reports. Another tool to help keep track of your empire ships and plants is the empire window search feature. Okay, click it now. Aha. Search menu allows you to quickly select all things that match various criteria, causing them to appear in the Empire window. Take a moment to browse what some of these criteria are. Okay. This includes the advanced tutorial interface. Okay. Oh, I guess so much for taking a moment to browse. All right. Let's go advanced logistics and then perhaps we might be ready to start here. Welcome to the Advanced Logistics Tutorial. The purpose uh, and effects of Advanced Logistics Structures will be covered. Okay. Oh, good God. Wow, look at this. Okay, here's our planets here. Okay, so we can collapse, right? Expand or collapse? I gotta, I gotta wait till I okay this. Next to the Empire's influence in the galaxy is your capital planet. Uh, the further away your Empire's planets are from capital, the lower their base allegiance will be. Aha! Planets with partial allegiance suffer reduced tax and resource income. Go ahead, bring up the info cards for your other planets to see their allegiance. Okay. Select a planet as your capital. S select designate capital planet from the planet upgrade menu. You have an existing capital array will be moved to the designated planet when the upgrade is complete. Okay. Sure, power expands here. So let's see where our allegiance is. That's our home planet. Thessalia. Oh, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Let's go back. Go back, please. Thank you. Allegiance one hundred percent. That's what I was looking for. Allegiance ninety percent. Allegiance eighty percent. Okay. Uh, as your empire expands to more and more plant income growth will be will, will be in lessen due to lost allegiance. One way of all saying this is by building trade ports. Okay. Let me zoom out here. So there's our three. Oh, you know what? So if I do this. So I could actually set this one as the capital planet. And then that will beef up this guy's allegiance to 90%. Slightly. Okay. Uh, our plants your income growth will begin. Okay, gotcha. Trade ports automatically produce autonomous trade ships that will transport goods between friendly plants. With trade ports. Each trade port will produce credits over time. The rate that scales with the number of trade ships is launched. Get okay, build a trade port at both your Terran and Desert planets. They're built uh, from the logistics structure menu just for the uh, rest of the two, or some of the restrictions on how many trade will be relaxed. Okay. Ice planet, Desert planet, Terran planet. Okay. We'll trade for both your Terran and Desert Planet. Okay. Um, logistics structure. Okay. Trade port. 
I guess I gotta zoom in here. Okay. So we'll put the trade port here. Oh, I lost my desert planet. There it is. Trade port. There. Okay. Alright, so we got the trade ports going. Also, our next area proportional to the longest chain of colonizable plants with trade ports in your trade network. See so extents of this chain by mousing over your credit summary at the top of the HUD. Just here, okay. Trade port income, right, okay. Except, uh, if your empire requires more metal or crystal than your plant's extractor can provide, one way of acquiring more is to build refineries, okay. Like trade ports or refineries. Structure complete. Why, thank you. Uh, like trade ports or refineries automatically produce autonomous cargo ships that scales their resource income. Your ships will seek out resources extractors belong to your empire adjacent gravity wells. Okay. Because each refinery draws from extractors in nearby gravity wells. Structure oh, complete. There we go. Let's get that out of the pocket. Uh, draws from extractors in nearby, and each extractor can least for a few. Building too many refiners will not increase your resource income efficiently. Go ahead and build one at your desert planet. Okay. So I've got to ugh, build a refinery, orbital refinery. Let's build that there. Good. The last core element of logistics is culture. It is produced from broadcast center logistics structures. So build one at your Terran planet. Broadcast center. Oh, how about, oh, I guess select it first. There we go. Broadcast center. That's better. So we'll throw the broadcast center there. Culture spreads along the phase lines between planets and is represented by a growing line in that empire's color. The further broad culture... Uh, the further broad culture from a given plant spreads, the slower its spread rate becomes. Okay. Trade ships working. Okay, there's our trade ships. Okay, we read that. As culture spreads, it causes shifts in allegiance. Friendly culture will cause allegiance to increase slowly to a slightly higher maximum, whereas hostile culture causes allegiance to slowly drop to zero okay allegiance reaches zero at a planet the plant's current government Structure is overthrown complete. causing the plant to become neutral strong cultural influence thank you can also prevent for, uh, an attacking a power from causing plants that have had their infrastructure destroyed by bombardment okay Okay, so if we're attacked, if we had a strong cultural influence, they cannot colonize our planet. Okay, I think that's I think that's what it's getting at. Lastly, ships will fight more effectively at planets under the effects of friendly culture. So much for cleaning the glasses. There we go. That's better. The specific improvement to the kind of differs for each race. And that concludes the advanced logistics. Oh my god, my head. My head. Oh, oh my goodness. 
My, is my hair looking yellow? It looks yellow, I think, from the light. From our soft lighting here. I need a haircut terribly. Terribly! Look at this. Look, I don't even have to... I don't even need Abby to troll me. I can troll myself with my hair right now. Look like Doc Brown. All right. All right, well, there we go. I don't think I have a load game, do I? No. This this is actually... I, I have the... Um, Yeah, I've actually got my original box there. I think I was, uh, was that a collector's edition? I, I, went, I got this off of Steam. I didn't even think to put my collector's edition key in this thing. I think I got it off of Steam cheap just to be able to play it easier on Windows 10 instead of having to install it all over again. I should, I should put my collector's dish key in and see if that does anything. Alright, anyway, let's do the new game. Small scenarios. Stars 1, plants 14, best 4, 1v1. First step towards galactic homogeny. This map is randomly generated each... Oh, yeah, really? Okay. Watch, a watch game, really? Single player recorded games. Nope. Player set up. New player. Oh, here we go. Well, here we go. Okay, do that. Change theme. Change picture set. Yeah, let's do that. General Grievous. No. No. Maybe. I'm gonna go for that one. Alright, those are our choices, huh? Alright, let's go for this one. Pick the theme, huh? Definitely purple. So we got here. So we got anything that's close to RMG, Real Millennium Group, RMG Gaming. And that could possibly be the R RMG Gaming Shield. That one too. My God, this is so tiny. This is kind of like our Real Millennium Group logo. So let's go take that. There we go. We'll go with that one. Okay, we're good there. We like to design a map, huh? Achievements. None at all. Yeah, not here. New game. Every Ferrero, the poser faction, is literally next door playing Decisive Strike. So this is kind of just scenarios. We don't have an open ended gameplay, I guess, huh? Medium scenarios. Okay, large scenarios. Okay. There's some map designer. Galaxy Forge. So I guess it'd be better just to start with one right now. Research normal culture, pirates active. Let's take pirates off for now. Lock teams. Yeah, there are no teams. Large fleet size is small. Let's go normal. Okay. Take the pirates off for now just to make life easier. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. start. Here we are. Okay. So where are we at here? This is our home planet. All right. So we got two other planets here. 
So what do I got here? We got construction frigates. I don't think I have any other ships. All right, so let's go ahead and start building ships here. Um, Just gonna build that. I want to build at least four of those. And probably a colony frigate. Okay. So we got those building. If it's out there, I'll find it. Uh, let's build Goss defense platform here. We'll build that right there. Reporting for duty. Point me in the right direction. Oh, that's not the one I'm looking for. That's the one I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and start mining operations here. Reporting for duty. Logistics could build a metal extractor. There we go. Reporting for duty. No available resource available. Happen there. Structure complete. Yeah, there's a crystal there. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have that queued up. To build there. And we can queue that up there. Okay. So we'll have that set. Uh, so scout frigate. Light frigates. We should have a colonization Structure frigate complete. coming. Um, where's our other guy at? Oh, he's built. Oh, he's you know probably building. Or is he? Oh yeah, he's building. Okay. Protect both, am I, huh? I'll be able to protect complete. both of these if I put this one here. We can put this guy over here. Structure complete. Okay. So we'll get that building. Tactical capacity, insufficient crystals. Seventy-five crystals, one hundred fifty metal, four hundred fifty gold. So we'll wait on that. There's our colony frigate. Where to now? There's a scout frigate. Let's go explore this one. I'm already there. So we need research, huh? Carrier, cruiser, command cruiser, cruisers. So I gotta do some research here. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Excellent.
What now? Give the order. Ready for orders. Deploying. Got a job for me? Yeah, you guys head over there. You're the boss. So I gotta do research. Face jump underway. there. Military lab. So let's do both here. Military lab, then we'll do a civilian. A new colony has been founded. Do a civilian research station here. Oh my God, we're under attack! I guess I need uh more crystal is needed. We've lost contact with one of our planets. So everything's been destroyed there, okay. There to explore. New horizons await. Structure complete. Okay, good. That's right, I can start doing up the research here. Reporting for duty. One military lab structure. If it's out there, I'll find it. Industry. All right, so let's go ahead and prove that. If it's that. out there, I'll find it. Logistics. Let's go if it's out there, that. I'll find it. If it's out there, I'll find it. Yeah, so they're there. Alright, so let's do the planet behind us. And do that one. Give the order. You're the boss. Ready for orders. Y'all head out there. Deploying. Get some more frigates here.
So I gotta figure out why I need to build these cruisers. Research complete. Okay. Research complete. Excellent. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Reporting for duty. There's the strike squadrons to defend the planet. Reporting for duty. Uh, all the candidates. Where now? Looking for something. Let's get back to our other frigate then. Morning for duty. Give the order. Good get over one. there. has been founded. Got a job for me? Yeah, get over get there. On. Our planet is under siege. My best. Eat this. Transmission received. There's another one out there. Structure complete. Maybe frigates. All right, let's get some more frigates going here. All out of metal. If it's out there, I'll find it. Alright, 
Let's, let's level that up. Cars one civic research station, which we have. Reporting for duty. We have three levels here. Let's go ahead and research that. Research that. After him, blow him up. Got him. All right, good. Let's go ahead and scout that one, uh, right? Research complete. Oh, that one doesn't have a phase jump to there, huh? Reporting for duty. I'm already there. Well, where's the phase jump line? Let's see. Just see where he goes. Research complete. He's not going to perform a phase jump, he's just going to travel there. Actually, I should just cancel it then. On my way. Go there. I'll find the way. You can phase jump there. I can just have a phase jump there. I gotta build. I gotta build some stuff here. Get crystals there. Tractor. These are scout frigates here, huh? What do you need to know? You guys go that way. Research complete. On my way. Now that I have him phase jumping over there anyway, huh? Looking for something? So I'll send them to there. I'll find the way. Uh, where to, Commander? Colonize. Can only be used on neutral targets. Well, why don't you go that way then? Deploying.
What do you need to know? On my way. Head to the planet, that's all. Structure complete. There's a research here. Two civic research station structures. Oh, I see. Okay. So we've got to build more than one. All right. Let's go ahead and select that. Further planet upgrades are required. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Do I have enough crystal? I need more crystals. Our fleet is under attack! Over there, I presume. Oops. A new colony has been founded. All right, here we go. Research complete. Our planet is under siege. Structure complete. So I can't get my guys to where I need them to be. Planet development finished. Okay. To work on that, I need frigate factory here. Give the order. Let's get these guys over here. Good one. Where to now? Head to the planet. Point me in the right direction. I'm already there. Go that Research way. Complete. Preparing for phase jump. We've lost contact with one of our planets. Of course we did. Our fleet is under attack! We'll be heading there soon anyway. Structure ah, complete. Here we go, okay. Our backup is joining the fight. Metal come from metal extractors. This is what we need here. Oh, there we go. 
got military in here. A new colony has been founded. All right. Attack! I got him. Comes coming in now. <laughs> All right, planets healing and everything else. Give the order. Got a job for me? Looking for something? Ready for orders. that let's get some structures built here Crystals getting built there. Hangar defense. Structure complete. that there. Structure complete. Hold off on research a little bit so we can bump up our uh, supplies. Structure complete. Metal extractor. We'll do ghost defense platform here. What now? You're the boss. Let's head over that way. Let's 
see what kind of connection this planet will have here. Structure complete. Excellent. Structure complete. Allegiance 80, of course, this will end up being Allegiance 70. Build some ships, maybe we can get to that one. Additional research required. No. Structure complete. And now I gotta increase our fleet capacity, huh? Trade port. Reporting for duty. Metal income. Crystal income. Colonization of ice planets. Colonization of volcanic duty. planets. Empire. Okay, modular architecture. Okay, let's see what we got here. Our factories and our extractors. Reporting for duty. Okay. Expedited permits. Approved construction. Desert planet cap. Terran planet cap. Sensor drones on planets. Seven of any research structure. Fleet capacity vampire is able to sustain it once. Basic provisioning. Okay, let's go research that. Let's go research that. We need more research structures, okay. Number of capital ships. Additional credits required. Oh, I'm out of cash. Okay. Let that go. Military here. Two military labs. So I gotta build basically another military lab here. I can build a military lab over here. Asteroids, crystal no logistics spots. Well, I can't build anything else till I upgrade my logistics slots, then, huh? Research complete. There we go.
uses four logistic slots. All right, so how do I increase my logistic slots? Really powerful artifact, of course, they have. There we go. So let's definitely do that. So we'll want to do that over here too. The logistics build up there. Research complete. Give the order. Well, let's go see what's over here. Good one. Planet development finished. Excellent. Phase jump underway. Creds. We need more creds. All right. In the meantime, let's. Yes, we need credits now. Our credits rebuild. We're phase jumping over here. So let's see. Phase jump complete. Desert planet. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this got two points, okay. See if we got enough frigates here. I don't think we do. Give the order. Let him have it. Focus on him. Hold together, hold together. You're a loser. Yeah, Got here, a job least. for me? Yeah, this guy.
somebody behind us. That guy over there too. Got a job for me? He's a big boy. Might be able to get him down quicker. Got a job for me? Yeah, focus Let on him. him. Get him down quick. Let's see if we can send some assistance here. Boy, this is a long jump. I'll do my best. Good one. You gotta be able to colonize desert planets. Credits. Maybe. Do we need? And not just volcanic and arctic. So we might, we might be able to colonize this one then. See how we're doing over here. Give the order. Attack! Yeah, I can be able to get him down, but I think we got everybody else down. Structure complete. Build some frigates. Oy. We don't have enough monies. We need more creds. Structure complete. Alright, let's see what we see. Research is gonna take credits too, so we gotta hold off on the research till we can build up our credit supply again. Maybe we do a trade port. I gotta do a point in orbital commerce. Here, 605. 600 credits is the cost though, so yeah, I'm going to have to wait. So we're going to need frigates. I guess I still haven't figured out how to build a capital ship yet. Give the order. Attack! Is he still hanging in? Still surviving. Done for. Okay. I'm 
quite capable of being able to defend that thing yet. somewhere. Increases the number of capital ships. Took a lot of credits. I think I need cruisers to explore planets if I'm not mistaken is what the tutorial said. Okay, here we go. This is where we research the uh, frigates here. We just don't have the gold yet. Research complete. Okay. So that's done. So now we can have two capital ships. So we should, okay, so it's only volcanic nice plants, all right. So this is what I need here. Planetary bombardment weapons. Defense can strike craft. Javelus. Powerful long range missiles. So, what do we got here? Command cruiser, the rear box cruiser, light carrier. game. If we got somebody else, you know, let's nail him, please.
He's trying to run. He's vanished. Went over this way. Additional credits required. Yeah, that's it. Eat up all my credits here. Reporting for duty. There too. Over here. Just trying to get back home. Reporting for duty. Nail him. Come on, guys. Nail him. He's phase jumping. He's gone. Reporting for duty. What now? Got a job for me? You're the boss. Still got something here. Reporting for duty. It's neutral. I don't know what it is though. Looking for something? Let's hit on my there. way. We don't need any more scout frigates here. Got a job for me? I'll do my best. So we've got everything built that we can here. Build a military lab. Civic research station with the credits. So right now it's all credits. I gotta let credits build back up. Big time. We almost got that planet anyway. Now let's go scout this other planet here. Where'd my scouts go? There they are. What do you need to know? Let's go scout this guy. I'll find the way. Already there. Do some scouting here to see what's I'll what. Find a way. Lens flare. No, why, why? Why aren't 
you I'm guys going there. there. That's where I wanted you to go. Guys are gonna phase jump right into each other. On my way. Let's go. No, oh, I'm taking you so long to phase jump. Let's go. Preparing for phase jump. Thank you. I thought. It's a, it's a Terran planet. I just have my scouts bounce around here a bit. Preparing for phase jump. I'll find the way. I'm already there. Hey, uh, you guys will be a fleet. How's that sound to you? On my way. You get blowed up. What do you need to know? On my way. He's just about done. He got blowed up. Get over there. I'll find the way. He's going to get blowed up too. He got blowed up. All right. So we're not going to get to any of these others as we get through here. All right, we got, okay, we got resources built up now. Dinner? Okay. Well, I didn't hear you, Abs. Okay, five frigates ought to be able to get to that desert world. Reporting for duty. There's only only one ship left there, I do believe. We really need to get here and colonize this one. Reporting for duty.
I need to get capital ships going here. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. So I gotta do the jobless prototype. So 600. All right, let's go ahead and research that. At least we'll have something there. Reporting for duty. Do what we got here, okay. Give the order. So it's five. Good one. Go. Go ahead. Go. Colonize. Deploying. All right, go colonize that one. Stand by for phase jump. Phase jump complete. Yeah, well, looks like we've had some of them get over here, huh? Research complete. Looks like we should be able to damage them. Well, we'll have to see. We can see we had somebody over here scouting us again. Our fleet is under attack. I know, I know. They're skedaddling. A new colony has been founded. Give the order. He's gonna phase jump, so let's Attack. just go after him. And I'll have to do it for now. Games 100 days 2020. Save. And I will say thank you for watching, everyone. Again, we're here raising money right here for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. 100%. Every single penny that we raise goes to helping sick kids get better at the hospital. Please, please, please do what you can to make a donation, even one dollar. Makes all the difference for the hospital and the kids. It all adds up in the end. I am BJ Wilder. Until next time, I'll see you in game. Check the video description for Extra Life links. And uh, I always forget to mention this, but uh, you can also do a command in the chat window if you're watching this uh, on Twitch as a highlight or a rerun. Just go to the chat channel. Do the exclamation mark donate command. And I'll get you our participant link as well. So you can do that right in chat as well. If you are not watching us live, you can do that anytime in chat. And uh, get to our participant link as well. 
as I mentioned in the video description and in our about page, the banners and links there as well. Thank you everyone. I am BJ Wilder. Until next time, I will see you in game.